Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muhammad Asim. I'm working as a senior DevOps engineer. Today I'm going to show you how you are going to deploy a WordPress complete website in Docker in few minutes. And there is no need to buy any C panel or any other panel. Uh, but we will use uh, the PHP My Admin for. Uh, management for the management of mysql so you have to simply make the copy of my script copy my bash script and paste it in the docker lab and make it executable script so i'm going to copy this and make changes as far as its executable file is concerned so this is just a simple file I'm going to change the permission of it and I'm going to make it executable let's see give this permission to this and now I'm going to simply run the bash script it will download the mysql image php my admin image and the wordpress image from the docker repository so we have to wait for a while after downloading the images from the docker repository so it will um, simply you know mount these ports at the top of this page so I'm going to click this and this is the port which I gave for the PHP my admin so I'm going to use PHP my admin to create a database so I'm going to create a database just like I create in cPanel and I'm going to now I'm going to create a user just like uh, I create in cPanel so I'm going to add a user I'm going to give this uh, user name and also I'm going to give this user password and then I'm going to give this user full privileges just like we gave in cPanel so I'm going to grant so what i have done is simply just you know give all the privileges to this user and i'm now i'm going to click on go so if i go back to the database and check the privileges uh, you see this user has uh, not full privileges now i'm going to select grant all privileges of the administration now click go and if i go back to the database and now check the privilege of uh, privileges of this user now this user has uh, full privileges now if we go to the wordpress installation we simply install the wordpress with this and you see it is very simple so what we are going to do is to give the same username and which we have created via via yeah, the PHP my admin and I'm going to now pause the video to give the password yes guys I'm back now I'm going to give the database host I'm going to give the same IP address which is 192.168.0.53 so this is the IP address and let uh, do not change this uh, table prefix so now we are going to go to the next step so as you see this is very simple now we are going to install the wordpress and this is very simple procedure you see in few minutes we have installed the wordpress and give it whatever the username you like so I'm going to give the username 
ask him and this password is okay I'm going to give my email and I'm going to install the WordPress in it so you see guys this is very simple it might save your uh, cPanel cost uh, you have to simply buy the domain and <coughs> excuse me and tell your web hosting company to just point the A records of your name server to your uh, VPS or dedicated server and you can outsource your email as well you can outsource the Google email which might cost you around five dollar per account or you can buy um, email services of uh, existing web hosting company from which uh, you bought a domain so this is uh, very simple uh, if you're running a normal website or uh, any complicated website you can also deploy this in production so uh, this is the way to do it you see this does not take any huge amount of time you have to simply run my bash script and that is it all is up and running thank you guys please like and share my videos thank you Allah Hafiz